definitely the name of the game bot lane. Uh, we've seen that time and time again from the side of Fnatic. Yesterday, particularly, we saw a great performance coming out from Razlork. How are we expecting the jungle matchup to play out here, considering the fact that that's something we've highlighted coming into this? Yeah, so um, it's really now, it is worth noting that Oscarina actually invaded the enemy top side, putting a ward so they know that Daklas, at the very least, is not starting on this blue buff. But at the ooh. same time, ooh, Exhaust that's a lot of going down on Noah. Kazi trying to trade in here. There's the ignite, but Kazi gets first blood, and Jun can't no get him age. He oh. flashes. He gets it. Will Hillasang chase? Of course he will. He's Hilly. He loves a little bit of a barn. He loves a little bit of a battle, but now he's forced away. The slow from the Ash Order, but it's Diego. <laughs> it's genius vitality. Are playing 16D chess while the rest of us are googling what on earth is on passant. Hillasang chasing forward as Razor is going to get forced away from these. Krugs, Hilly flashes the wall and Daglas follows suit. They get the slow. Razzle still has a flash of his own. Daglas needs to CC him more. He can't get in range. Can BTO, BTO get across from the side? Has the flash only level two. And Volley Bird just running him down. Looks like the Razzle is going to get double crab out of this. Oscar in going in. Ghost has been popped. There's the knock back and Daglas once again in the right position at the right time. That's going to be on the Vitalis bot lane. Humanoid is pushing out mid already and will be able to base and CP back soon. Razzlek on his way, he's going to land the stun on Hillisang, but once again, Daklas there to match. Hillisang will be the first to fall, though. Daklas trying to get the resets off. Kazi going in. Razzlek escaping on a sliver. Spectral more finds the stun on Noah. Kazi puts the spears in again. And the last um, You know, on the ro Void Corps, Vitio is yeah. still moving down, trying to catch him off guard. Hawkshot comes in a little bit I mean, late, and they might get something here. The charm going down, but it's a mixed focus here. Noah the first target. Jun could have been targeted down as well. Hillisang still able to survive, and I think it's kind of almost one and a half K gold. Razzlek secures the dragon, of course. But if you're by a matching bot wave, so if you did force Humanoid into this fight, even though VTO doesn't have his teleport, Photon could always TP advantage. So Fnatic would be able to get the dragon essentially for free. The but fight continues though. Exhaust down on the Jun. Kazi's so low. Humanoid has a bunch of spears in him, but it's not enough. And the inner flame connects. Vitality. It wouldn't be them without a little bit of too much greed. Humanoid gets a double. As Photon was trading with Oscar down towards the bottom side, Flash Spectral more is it enough with the Heartbreaker? Daglas takes it. No one and Razzlek on the chase, though. Chain of Corruption, a possibility here as Photon takes a little bit of a chip. Daglas and Photon, how do you escape such precarious situations? Our Heartbreaker TV. away. There's the stun chain of Corruption shut down to Razzlek. Charm goes wide from VTO. Oh, 100%, especially since Vitality on the longest range composition as the arrow goes on to Hilly. He's just short of the dredge line. Kazi, the first target. Really able to escape with the Fates Call, pulled into the dead body of his AD carry. Razzle trying to trade back in as Vito dashes forward with the Spirit Rush. Daglas now 3 and 1 as he takes another and a knock back onto Humanoid, trying to get the damage down, but the shutdown for Hillisang. Daglas possesses another soul. Big and beautiful Herald play soon. And try and crack through that mid tier one. It opens up so much of the map for you if you can break through it. Daglas again on a carry mid prio, and then moving Nautilus and Callista into this. Bottom side river, Oscar winning should be able to take this tower. Even though Razzle was spotted on the ward, he did his job. Right. Shelly to its inevitable end. As this tower will fall. You get more mites spawning out of Shelly the more grubs you have. So because you have six. 700 gold advantage, being part of most kills in the river early is again control for his team. And Jun, whew. He just pulled out with the all out heartbreak. A good follow up here. There's the shutdown. Daglux gonna possess the ash now. Noah exhausted. Kazi low. VTO takes the kill exchange. By Noah. Now down towards the bottom side of the fight. VTO is going to spear rush forward. Photon very low. Ragnarok comes out. And Ragnarok rolling through. Vitality is Oscar winning. Daglas forced down. Razzle flashes forward. Oscar gets two. And in a fight that basically even 19 minutes in, we're having a killer minute. Hillisang looking for the hook. Jun has flash. Noah burns his. And Chandler Kusai goes wide as the chain of corruption does land. Hillisang with a focus and a flame on him. He's, he's going to have to be pulled back with a face call, but Razorok is ripping. Razorok. <laughs> Razor. Time they actually make up their you. minds. It might be a little bit too late to respond. Down to a thousand, as you say. Fnatic get it, and now Vitality on the retreat. Let's like forced away. Photon pops the path maker, but he can't find a way to go. Noah now gets another kill to his name. Double recurve, trying to get towards that terminus, but Vitality's jungle littered with wards. Oscar in forced away here. Hook going in from here, saying there's the depth charge as well. Ragnarok. Available for Oscar in, and I believe hasn't popped it yet. And the shutdown over to Daglas comes to kill you, you get a lot more on the other side. And if that was Oscar's intention, I mean, he's like, guys, I'm gonna run it down like Hooney did back in the day. And they get, you know, bot turrets, they get mid turrets. I could respect it, but 
he was just a little bit too early and got caught for absolutely no reason. But Nagless just gets caught in the mid lane, was hit with an Enchanted Crystal Arrow into the chain of corruption. Hitlersang looking for more, but Humanoid's on the flank now. TP coming in by Vitality. Kazi trying to dodge his way around the fight. Humanoid should be able to take him out, but can't hit the inner flame. The charm, though, connects! And Fnatic, once again, we're looking for the fight. I think the Huni into... Will actually teleport down. And not generally the greatest play from Fnatic. This is not the kind of position you want to be in. But when you're all up and roll the objective immediately, Vitality might even decide to just give it up because, well, you know, it's just a cloud soul. Who cares? Vitio keeps getting caught in the exact same position. Not really learning from his mistakes, but hey, at least he has ult up again because at this point in the game, our ult basically yeah, like doesn't have a cooldown. I, I will say, like, it's a couple of times we've seen teams just say, I mean, it's both times it's been Vitality. Obviously not want to play for an objective and then just go through it anyway. Like, VTO just steps too far forward. The arrow, great. Pathmaker from Photon. He's now locked up. Like, why is Daglas it? Do you think you can trade into four people, Daglas? He was just... Uh, Fnatic was able to attack one tower in this bottom lane. He should be able to take it. It's VTO splitting in the top lane. As the tower does fall, Vitality giving up the ghost of that and one. Immediately this time, Vitality has to respond. There's no way you're going to give up Baron no, three. Like, what? How did this sequence happen? Hilly win games where this has happened. I remember uh, World's Finals 2018. Really? I remember Athens 2019 as Hilly dies. I remember these plays where you just seem to get outplayed on the map. What What is going through your mind as a, as a losing team in that sort of situation? Well, that's the thing, right? I feel like Fnatic hasn't even done anything crazy or extraordinary. It's like Baron spawns. Of course, Fnatic is naturally going to move there as a self-control. Dragon spawns, they're going to move there as a self-control. And you know, at least when they gave up the Dragon, Vitality got a lot on the top side. But then, from that point on, Fnatic have just gotten so much for free and Vitality just don't seem very prepared. Another great example of it. It's discount day in the top lane as Photon's just caught out. He was trading with Humanoid for days, but Oscar just walks across. Vitality, a man down as Hilly obviously was dead. They're trying to defend this mid lane. It's 3v3 now. No one has the Chain of Corruption in the Enchanted Crystal Arrow. But Fnatic are just, uh, just playing the map better. Kazi caught with the arrows. He dashes into it. The Marshall boys still had the flash. Didn't have time to dash out. Noah's going to get taken out by Daglas, but already VTO's fallen as well. And the Wolves descend. Fnatic descend. And down descend Vitality into their graves. Fnatic get the ace. Four members left alive. This might just be game. The crazy part is that with these two comps, Fnatic are naturally going to outscale Vitality. And if the game is near even at this point, they're just going to beat them and destroy them. But Vitality freely let them get everything, freely let them get to this point. And because Fnatic just kept getting picks over and over and over, Vitality just lose the game without even getting a single team fight. Yeah, just crazy. Fnatic, incredible performance.